to establish this great institution on this mountain top 75 years ago to train teachers. We thank you for the traditional authority that generously gave out the land on which the institution stands. We are together to give you praise and celebrate you for the number of teachers that have been trained already. We thank you for the many more that are yet to be trained. These people will go to transform the social economy of our country, Ghana. We pray for Ameko. We pray for staff. We pray for students. And we pray for everybody and all other institutions of this nature. May we grow from strength to strength. May you grant our teachers and leaders more wisdom so that they can continue to provide good leadership. Bless the program for today. So that we can end successfully. Bless us in all that we do to the glory of your name. We pray through Jesus Christ, who is our Lord now and forevermore. Amen. In solid and hematog hematological malignancies and achieved global regularity approval in relapsed refractory myeloma in the year 2015. You can understand the person who is coming to chair this function. He published a lot of books, about 120 to his credit. The chairman for this occasion is a professor. He has he has about 15 awards to his credit. He is married with three children. If I should continue with his CV, I'll be ending around 6 p.m. Allow me, therefore, to introduce or present to you the chairman for this occasion in the person of Presbyter Professor Peter Kofi Ataja. Professor, your audience, audience, the chairman for this occasion, Professor Peter Ataja. Thank you. Thank you. The Honorable moderator of the General Assembly, the very Reverend Dr. Lieutenant Colonel Adeko, the Honorable Representative of the President of Ghana, Honorable Yao Osafumafo, the Honorable Regional Minister, Honorable Dr. Lecture, um, Togbo, Mamao, all invited guests. I thank you and I thank the Lord God Almighty for putting it upon the heart of my church to identify me to serve at this function. We have already prayed 
to the Lord Jesus himself who established his church to take the seat. And if we want to um, even continue to read the accolades of him who has established the church, it will be world without end. So I thank you and I accept to come alongside my Lord who is already function, uh, serving as the chair of this function to serve him. So thank you. Thank you, my church. Thank you, my nation, for giving me all the opportunities from EP Primary School, Golokwati, to this day. I thank the church for molding um, a person such as I. Thank you so much. Shall we put our hands together for the chairman of the occasion? Professor Chair, may I have your permission to continue with the program and invite the principal of the college, Dr. Dixon Chair, to give us his anniversary welcome address. Be seated. The Prof Chairman, the President, in this case, the representative of the President. The Presidential Advisor, Honorable Yao Osafo Mafu, the Volta Regional Minister, members of Parliament, the District Chief Executive Who West, the Director General, Ghana Education. Education, Ghana Tertiary Education Commission, the Vice Chancellor, University of Ghana, the representative of the Vice Chancellor, University of Cape Coast, principals of colleges of education, the Volta Regional Director of Education, the clergy, staff, and students, the alumni of Ameko, special guests, all distinguished guests, Osie Ajatepo, the seventh paramount chief and president of Avatime Traditional Council. The Osie, Okusie of Amejofe, and all other Okusies present, 
Togwe o Mama o Members of civil society, members of the press corps. Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me much pleasure to welcome you all individually and collectively to the 75th anniversary celebration. Indeed, I'm personally delighted to be serving as the 12th substantive principal of the college as we mark the 75th anniversary of the college under the theme, Restoring the Past Glory, Repositioning Ameko as a strategic partner in quality teacher education delivery in the 21st century. The same sentiment should be expressed by each one of us in our capacities as students, as staff, alumni, and whatever capacity we may find ourselves. I acknowledge the fortitude of the Evangelical Presbyterian Church Ghana for their foresight in establishing this college, which has and continue to serve as the citadel of education in the Volta region and Ghana at large. I must emphasize that the crucial decision which was taken at one of the synods of the EP Church is amply manifested to the admiration of all today. The government of Ghana cannot be forgotten in the numerous roles it has played from the beginning to date. Professor Chairman, we are gathered here today also because of the pioneering role played by the first principal of the college, a Scottish missionary, Reverend W. M. Beveridge, who was then the supervisor of EP Church Schools and was described variously as an astute educationist who brought his immense expertise in education to bear on the administration of the college during its formative years. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, the journey after Reverend Beveridge through Mr. T. W. Kwame, Mr. M. O. Merku, Mr. A. A. Bekwi, Mr. I. K. Kuju, Reverend O. K. Oklu, Mr. M. A. Y. Fie, Mr. J. N. K. Fianu, and ended with Reverend E. K. Gau. The current crop of leaders of the college can be traced from Mr. J. D. Koka, Reverend S. K. Tete, and myself. Togbil Mamau, we appreciate the vital roles you have played in the building and development of the college. May the cordial relationship continue smoothly. I have since taken over the mantle of leadership done what is said to be humanly possible to build on the firm foundation by our forefathers with the view to having a better college than I and my team came to meet. Distinguished personalities, the population of the college currently stands <coughs> sorry currently stands at 1057 from the 596 when i took over in november 2018 
The college has five departments, including languages, education, science, physical education, social sciences, and creative arts, and mathematics and ICT running various courses in a direct response to government's policy of improving on the teaching and learning of French at the basic level, the college under the leadership of Mr. J.D. Koka introduced French as an elective course in the college's curriculum. I am proud to say that our French trainees, our French trainee students are among the best Colleges of Education trainee students that are well baked for that are well baked teaching in the teaching of French. Professor Chairman, Professor Chairman. We in AMECO are following closely the government's transformational agenda in the educational sector to achieve the maximum benefits that will follow as part of the plans of the education ministry to have only well-trained degree teachers teaching our children in the classroom from kindergarten we have since 2019 started plans to introduce the early childhood program in Ameko. Plans are far advanced in starting the program in the next academic year with our mentor university, University of Ghana, providing the necessary guidance. Ladies and gentlemen, plans are far advanced to introduce music as an elective program. Undoubtedly, Ameko is on record to have produced a number of outstanding musicians in the past who are serving, who are serving in various institutions across the country. Our quest is to bring back the good old days distinguished personalities, even though we have made very remarkable strides in the past, we have come this far with just the glamour of it. There have been numerous challenges along the way. As I have mentioned earlier on, the college is faced with myriad of challenges which need to be mentioned and addressed as soon as possible. The first and foremost challenge confronting the college is the inadequate capacity of the current assembly hall to accommodate the huge numbers, number of students in the college, which now as said earlier on, stands at 1,057. Traditionally, the assembly hall had the capacity to contain only 100 to 150 students. That is this structure you can see here. And that is the structure 1,057 students are still using. But as we speak, it is taking a staggering population of, as I said already. As a result, almost all our ceremonial events are held at the forecourt of the assembly, where we are currently holding this anniversary celebration. Obviously, this is not befitting of 75-year-old college. Again, it to note that most of the staff of the college commute between Ho and Amejofe due to the adequate accommodation on campus. 
and in the Amejope Township. This disheartening situation is affecting teaching and learning and therefore need attention and remedy. Professor Chairman, our students are not left out of this trouble. There are not enough lecture halls for the increasing number of admitted students at the college. A two-story classroom built for the students have been converted into hostel for male and female, which is also far from the main campus. We also recently converted the IT lab to where the students would bed, the female students. Sadly, also, a four-story ladies' get fun hostel facility started in 2010 has been abandoned at the foundation stage up till now. We humbly call for your quick intervention to all these problems. Ladies and gentlemen, it is practically impossible for administration, administrative work to go on smoothly without the needed offices for the workers. It is heartbreaking to report that most of our staff are sharing office space which does not allow for privacy and increased productivity. Professor Chairperson, though we acknowledge the frantic effort of the Nana Adu, Nana Adu, Adu, Nana Adu Dankwa Akufo Adu led administration, we are endlessly appealing to the president to an urgent attention to the college in commemoration of our 75th anniversary and to mark his coming to the college here in Amejope. Professor Chairman, the question is, what are we doing ourselves to minimize the situation? In the first place, there has been massive renovation at our staff bungalows to make room for more staff to be accommodated on campus in our own small way. We have done that. The same thing has been done with our offices to have more spaces for our staff at the old structure we saw there at the top. Through the IGF, or internally generated fund, the college, we have, through the IGF, the college have built a one story, this one is, I think it's two story, two story block and S, which includes a council chamber. This facility was inaugurated this morning as part of the anniversary celebration. I think that deserves a, a, a big clap from, <laughs> for us. <laughs> it was not easy. Thank you. <laughs> Again, through the same internally generated fund and support from others, management cut short yesterday for the construction of a four-unit, two-story building known as the anniversary project to ease the accommodation challenges of staff. It is our hope that the alumni will help us to get this project done in not less than three years or in on more than three years, sorry, in not more than three years. 
they said, it is said, Professor Chairman, that said, may I also appeal once again to the EP Church Ghana, the alumni of the college, and all well-meaning Ghanaians to come to the aid of the college. Professor Chairman, I once again extend my appreciation to all for being part of this memorable anniversary. I look forward to many more years ahead and pray that the God Almighty gives us good health and prosperity to be part of the centenary celebration in 2046. Azalu! Azalu! Thank you for your attention. Shall we do it once again for the principal of the college? A lot went on yesterday. We had the 75th anniversary lecture. There was also sword cutting. And for the first time in history, the cadet of the college was also inaugurated. Shall we put our hands together for that? EP College of Education and Major Affairs is not alone. We also have our children with us, the demonstration school, and they are also part of the celebration. Professor Chair, with your permission, may I invite the demonstration school to give us a cultural display? Thank you.
the alumni president, Mr. Agbokulochu, to give us the alumni address. Shall we welcome him? Good morning. I wish to also welcome everybody to this program. And by virtue of the protocols already established, I also wish to carry on with my speech. Forming a body to represent the interest of old students of College of Education has historically been tedious for past students of the EP College of Education, Amejofe. Ours began in a scattered fashion, mostly in Winneba, Cape Coast, for obvious reasons. Students aggregated around one another under the tag of AMECO in the universities offering education. We had lecturers of American heritage playing host randomly, and the names, and names like Professors Flolu and Amedahe readily come into play. We also had others such as Mr. Kuto doing same. However, Professor Che, the turning point began to evolve when some younger ones then started meeting at places like Afrikiko, Vag Hall, and then Clubhouse, the then GBC Clubhouse. It has been an on and off battle but we are fortunate to eventually have ourselves properly registered with the Registrar General, with bank accounts, etc. We are also fortunate to count among ourselves our numbers, year groups from 1971 till date, even though the commitment is not as solid as should be. We have the welfare of the alumni and the college as our primary focus, since that is our varied attempt at getting together. By virtue of that, we also have a welfare union properly registered to cater for the needs of registered members. However, the operationalization has been a huge challenge. Over the years, the alumni have, in their own ways, found the means to assist the college in instances such as when the 1991 year group donated chairs to the college and the alumni did networking of uh, computers and telephones at the administration block. The 1998 year group donated a table tennis board with accessories. Kudos to the alumni who have, in various ways, kept faith with the college over the years. I wish to make mention of the following, among others who have played significant roles in keeping this nascent group going over the years. Florence Sunu, Selassie Glover, Kwame Zowonu, Senam Nukunu, who unfortunately passed, and Judith Kemeche, who is also a staff. Worthy of mention are some year groups whose membership and leadership have made it a point to be for Ameko and Amekans. These are the 1990, 1971 year group. I wish to mention Mr. Brian Sapati as their main contact who's been doing well. 1991 year group, 1997 and 96 year group, and 1998. The alumni is immensely grateful for the 2001 year group for donating 3,000 and 4,000 capacity polytanks to the college as part of their contribution and in celebrating their 20 years. This wonderful gesture, I must say, is exemplary and commendable. We have had an open system of administration over the years but we have evolved to a year group based system over the few years to drive better cohesion through existing college inspired associations. We have come a long way, but we need greater dedication 
selflessness, and a desire to drive change on campus in ways that will help the college to continue to turn out graduates of repute. We thank the Amejope community and the Vatime community at large, the principal and the former principals, the college management and former college management, tutors and former tutors, as well as non-academic staff, past and present. As a president, I will personally thank Togbi Ajayi, the immediate past college board and members of our execom for their tireless belief in the cause of Mother Ameko and products past and present. Let us move into the next generation with a resolve to better partner, to be better partners in our collective welfare and the welfare of the entire college community. At this juncture, I would humbly appeal for a minute silence in memory of alumni lost over the past 75 years. May their souls rest in peace. I therefore entreat all, especially Americans, to join the college management in addressing challenges on campus. Our anniversary project needs an annual 300 Ghana cities per alumni to be successful. We also need the support of corporate Ghana as we strive to make Ameco a key partner in quality education in Ghana. Our drive to have a year group based welfare insurance scheme also needs the attention of all. I end it wishing us all a stupendous anniversary. It is indeed worth celebrating. Thank you all. Let's do it together once again for Mr. Lechu, the alumni president. As I said yesterday, we inaugurated a cadet of the college and also the brass band. Shall we hear you?
Thank you all. Azalo! Azalo! Akwe mi awele to ji ma una don se mi opete. The college is under the mentorship of University of Ghana Legon. And University of Ghana is represented here by the head of that institution. Professor Chairman, may I with your permission invite Professor Nana Abba Apia Anfo to address us. Thank you, Mr. MC. Uh, I came with the Provost of the College of Education, Professor Martin Oting Abibio, and also the Director of the Pan African Doctoral Academy, Dr. Jemima Anderson. Mr. Chair, Senior Presidential Advisor, the Honorable Yao Osafo Mafo. Moderator of the General Assembly of the EP Church of Ghana, Right Reverend Lieutenant Colonel Bliss Divine Agbeku, retired. You often don't find a military officer retired though, as well as a minister, a reverend minister in one person. It's a privilege for me to meet you. The Volta Regional Minister, Honorable Dr. Lecher, Tobio Mamao, the Director General of the Ghana Tertiary Education Commission. Ladies and gentlemen, please permit me to appropriate the protocol so elaborately established by the principal and proceed accordingly. Yes. The EP College of Education, Ameko, is 75 years old. That actually I don't feel the excitement that you are 75 years old. That actually makes this institution a year older than the University of Ghana. But as will have it, when the government decided to upgrade all training colleges to degree awarding colleges of education, Ameko was one of the six training college or colleges of education <laughs> that was placed okay. under the mentorship of the premier university. And I must say that as a mentoring institution, we have taken our responsibilities very seriously. And over these three to four years that you have been affiliated to us, we have diligently delivered on our duties. And I would like to speak briefly to only three of these. The first responsibility we had as a mentoring institution was to support the training, the colleges of education to develop their new B. Ed. curricula and to ensure their effective delivery. Thus, we have done excellently with the support and under the direction of the Ghana Tertiary Education Commission. I thought you would give us a round of applause for doing that. <laughs> The second area I'd like to speak to has to do with professional development of faculty. Uh, as you know, the upgrade of the training colleges to colleges of education was not just a matter of semantics. It came along with certain upgraded expectations. And so the faculty in these colleges are not only expected to teach uh, picking from whatever they can pick from others, 
but they are also expected to contribute to knowledge development, to do research, to publish the research, and also to let this research reflect in their teaching. And so we have taken it upon ourselves to support the faculty to train them so that they are able to develop their research and publishing skills. And so we have been engaged in this over these years. We have not left out staff. As you may know, the University of Ghana is on an agenda to uh, ensure that we use technology in all of our operations. And so we expect this of our affiliate institutions. So we have organized training programs for the staff to upgrade their skills so that they are adept in using the ITS so that we will minimize uh, delays in uh, our administrative processes, uh, releasing of uh, examination results, and so on and so forth. And the last point that I would like to speak to has to do with... No, even uh, before that, with regard to the faculty members, we also uh, helped with the development of promotion guidelines, which have been finalized and submitted to GTEC. And that takes me to the last point, which has to do with promotion of uh, principals. And this area also, draft guidelines have been developed and these have been submitted to the Colleges of Education for their comments. And so we expect the documents back soon, so we take it through the necessary approval process. And you know that the University of Ghana has very high standards. And so if you happen to have the privilege of being affiliated to us, we also expect that there are high standards in these, in, in these institutions. And so we are committed to holding uh, your hands so that by the time that this mentoring relationship is formally over, you will be ready to deliver efficiently and, uh, efficiently and excellently on your mandate. And so with these uh, brief remarks, I would like to once again congratulate Ameko for 75 years of existence and the impact. And the impact that you have had on the lives of many. So congratulations, felicitations, Niawe Wodo, Memamutriunkwa. Thank you. Professor VC. Let's put our hands together for her once again. Let's take a brief rendition from, from the choir. The vice principal has given some items to some student. Please, the vice principal is here. Let him have those items. Thank you.
Azalo! Azalo! You know, in the of February, we gather. The cloud also gather. So we have to be brave. The, we'll take a brief statement from the Director General, Ghana Tertiary Education Commission, Professor Mohammed Salifu. Shall we welcome him? Professor Chairman, Representative of His Excellency, the President, the Venerable Senior Presidential Advisor, the Honorable Regional Minister, Paramount Chief and President of Avatimi Traditional Area, Vice Chancellor, University of Ghana, Representative of the Vice Chancellor of the University of Cape Coast, Principal of the EP College, Amajepe, and staff, Principals of Sister Colleges of Education present, the Volta Regional Director of Education, Members of Parliament, Pressmen and Women, Distinguished Invited Guests, Ladies and Gentlemen. As you would see from the order of proceedings, in addition to the brilliant speeches that we have already listened to, there are other distinguished guests uh, on the bill to deliver speeches. So I'd want to keep mine straight and simple. Professor Chairman, I wish to take my opportunity not to deliver an address per se, but to offer a warm message of solidarity from the Ghana Tertiary Education Commission, which, as you know, regulates tertiary education institutions, including the EP College of Education, Ahmed Jofe. 75 years in the life of any institution is no mean feat. The very fact of surviving through all these years is enough proof of your resilience and relevance in the community that you exist and the clientele that you serve. The, the college has been an integral part of teacher education in Ghana all through these years and has gradually evolved in stature through the quality and standard of programs offered in accordance with various reforms in teacher education. Starting from two-year post-middle certificate A, four-year post-middle certificates, to three-year post-secondary certificates in the early years, you have attained university college status and now one of the major pillars in the delivery of the four-year Bachelor of Education program. So to the principal and staff of EP College Amejepe, I say congratulations on this occasion of your Diamond Jubilee. And all, all the successes, successes that the college, the college has achieved over the years. The Ghana Tertiary Education Commission supervised the conceptualization and implementation of the current Bachelor of Education program, which goes down easily as one of the most radical reforms of initial teacher education since our independence. We have worked successfully together with TTEL, the colleges, and five mentor universities to deliver the program. And I'm happy on this occasion to report that the EP College, Amejepe, has been among the foremost colleges in meeting the key implementation milestones. I came here in person, therefore, as Director General to affirm the unwavering commitment and solidarity of the Ghana Tertiary Education Commission 
to all the good work that is being done at EP College Amajepe by the hardworking staff under the able leadership of the youthful Dr. Dixon Che. <laughs> Show you that the best years of EP College Amejefe is ahead of you, not behind you. I am sure that at the appropriate time, the Honorable Minister for Education will be unveiling some of the key interventions planned that should excite every college of education about the next phase of your evolution as specialized teacher education training institutions. Finally, Professor Chairman, without further ado, please accept the warm and best wishes of the Ghana Tertiary Education Commission and congratulations once again on this auspicious occasion of your 75th anniversary. Thank you very much. Once again, the Director General, Ghana Tertiary Education Commission. Professor Chairman, with your permission, may I humbly invite the head of this region who has been doing very well in the person of Dr. Achibod Yao Lecha. Shall we put our hands together for Dr. Lecha, the Water Regional Minister? I'm, 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 I'm sure, sure those of you who, who thought I was short will know today that I'm a very tall man. Please sit down, please sit down. Professor Chairman, the representative of His Excellency the President and the Senior Advisor to the President, Moderator of the General Assembly of the EP Church Ghana, the Principal of the EP College of Education, Director General of GTEC, Vice Chancellor of my university, University of Ghana, Representative of the Vice Chancellor of the University of Cape Coast, uh, all other vice chancellors represented here, the paramount chief of the Batime traditional area, the regional director of education, Togbeo Mamao, teaching and non teaching staff of the EP College of Education, distinguished guests, members of the media, students, ladies and gentlemen. I am highly honored by the opportunity extended to me to join you today at the Grand Deba of the 75th anniversary celebration of this great institution of teacher education, the Evangelical Presbyterian College of Education, Amejopi. I'm therefore grateful to the college for the invitation. Professor Chairman, I bring you warm greetings from the Volta Regional Coordinating Council on this special day. Permit me at this point, on behalf of the chiefs and people of the Volta region, as well as the Volta Regional Community Council, to join earlier speakers in welcoming all of you to this celebration. Importantly, I wish to extend a special welcome to those of you who have traveled from outside the Volta region to Amejope for this debate. I have no doubt that you would enjoy your short stay as Amejope is noted for its beautiful weather, waterfall, our newly constructed canopy walkway, and the Mount Gemi with a giant 12 feet iron cross erected at the top in 1939. It may interest you to know, it may interest you to know that today we gathered at the highest point of human habitation in Ghana with an altitude of 3,275 feet above sea level. Ladies and gentlemen, 
Education in whatever form plays a critical role in the development of individuals, communities, and nations. It is in, this, in light of this that Nelson Mandela stated, quote and unquote, education is the most powerful weapon you can use to change the world. Indeed, the level of development of any country is an attestation of the standard of education of that nation. It is through education that the cognitive, affective, and psychomotor domains of every individual is developed in order that the individual can live a meaningful life and be able to contribute towards the progress of his environment. In our nation, the Ghana Teacher Training Colleges, now Colleges of Education, have over the years provided the opportunity for the nation to get people trained to teach at the basic level. Indeed, the success we have chalked and the progress we have made in education will be attributed to the foundation laid by the various colleges of education which train the teachers to teach and provide leadership at the basic level. Among these colleges of education is the Evangelical Presbyterian College of Education, Amejofe, which has carved a special niche for itself. For 75 years, this college has trained thousands of teachers who have not served only this region, but also the, the entire, entire, entire nation. nation. For 75 years, and from humble beginnings, this college has grown to engrave its name in the list of great institutions providing training in education. Professor Chairman, ladies and gentlemen, this college has also over the years provided some form of positive publicity to our dear region. Popularly known as Amejope Training College, the college and Amejope Township have created a beautiful mental image that when one hears of the name of the college and the town, one begins to relish the opportunity to visit Volta region. So once again, I invite you to visit Volta and experience Ghana. Ladies and gentlemen, it is therefore important that we join this college as it celebrates its 75 years journey. This celebration, I'm confident, will be used to take stock of the college's achievements, failures, and challenges with the overall objective of charting a course that will sustain its progress. I have no doubt that this college has been through thick and thin in ensuring that our nation is provided with quality teachers. I also have no doubt that this college still has some challenges, and the principal would like the challenges to be addressed in the shortest possible time. However, I am optimistic that while efforts are being made to address its present challenges, this college will continue to be resilient and maintain the highest standards of training. Professor Chairman, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, in view of the above, I wish to assure this college that the Volta Regional Community Council will continue to support and champion the college's cause in whatever way the council could with the conviction that together we can propel this college to a higher height. On this note, I congratulate the Evangelical Presbyterian College of Education, Ambe Jope, on its 75th anniversary celebration. Indeed, you have achieved an important milestone worth celebrating. And I have no doubt that the years ahead of this great college is brighter. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, Honorable Regional Minister. Professor Chair, when I was a, a little boy at secondary school, and any time we had inter-school festival, you always hear when the Volta region is losing, any of the Volta region school was losing, we have to import a certain school. Ladies and gentlemen, that school in those days 
was Ameko. And you have to bring in Ameko Jama those days. Anytime any Porta Regional School was losing in an event, you have to bring in Ameko Jama. Professor Chair, with your permission, shall we have a feel of them? And they should make it brief for me. Ameko Jama. We also have the donation table. The donation table is in front of the auditorium. Please, we are celebrating our birthday. Make time to visit the donation table before you go. We also have the anniversary club and souvenirs at the same venue. And then the anniversary brochure as well. Thank you.